If you're building an online course with WordPress, you have probably come across Tutor LMS and LearnDash, two of the most powerful LMS plugins available today. In this video, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of their course builders, the heart of any LMS platform. We will take a closer look at the interface, ease of use, content structuring, quiz creation, and much more. By the end of this video, you will know exactly which builder suits your workflow better, Tutor LMS or LearnDash. So let's dive in. Let's start with the user interface and design of the course builder. We will start with Tutor LMS. The course builder of Tutor LMS looks very modern and intuitive. It feels like a front end course builder. It gives you three tabs where you can add course intro details, build course curriculum and add additional information. You can use the drag and drop method in the course curriculum creator to create your course. The interface is beautifully designed and structured to make the course creation as easy as possible. Now let's take a look at the course builder of LearnDash. LearnDash also divides the course creation into some tabs. Although the design might not look as front end as Tutor LMS, LearnDash does provide a lot of features. The builder itself is quite easy to use. It also supports the drag and drop feature. If you have lessons, topics, quizzes, etc. already created, you can drag and drop those on your course curriculum to create the course structure. So now let's take a look at the course creation workflow and structure. And we're going to start with Tutor LMS. We are here in a Tutor LMS powered WordPress website. And the way you create a course is simply clicking on this new course button over here. This is going to bring up the course builder. Now the course builder is divided into three sections, the basics, curriculum and additional. In the basics tab, here you can add the course title, course description, you can select the course visibility, you can either make it public, password protected or private. You can then add in the featured image, intro video, add a pricing model, add categories, tags and also choose the author or add more instructors to your course. Next, in the general options, you can choose the difficulty level. You can also choose to make this course public and also enable the Q&A section from here. You can also add content drip if you have Tutor LMS Pro and also control the enrollment from here. Once you fill up this page, it's going to look something like this. Okay, if we move on to the curriculum tab, here you can see this is blank. To create a curriculum, you simply click on this add topic button and you can add the topic title. Then you can add topic summary and then click on OK. So you have your first topic. In the same way, you can add in more topics. And after you have these topics, you can also drag and drop it anywhere as this is a drag and drop course builder. Now, after the topic has been added, you can add lessons quizzes and assignments within this topic. So let's go ahead and see how this looks like when you add some topics, lessons and quizzes. All right, we have added some content and now we can see how it looks like. We can see that there are lessons over here and you can drag and drop these as well. These are some lessons and this is a quiz. So if we open up a lesson, this opens up right within the course builder. It doesn't take you to another page, so you can do everything from here. You can add the lesson name, lesson content, add a featured image, and if you want to include a video, you can include it from here. If you have content rip selected, you can choose a prerequisite from here. You can add video playback time, upload attachment, and also make this lesson preview. You can also add assignments, so this is an assignment, and you can also add quizzes, so this is also a quiz. So everything opens up right within the course builder. You don't have to switch to another page. And this is how you can create your course curriculum. In the additional tab, you can add additional course data such as what will the students learn, target audience, course duration, materials included, requirements, instructions, and also add a certificate if you have Tutor LMS Pro. So that is the course creation workflow and structure in Tutor LMS. Now for LearnDash, how you add a new course is just by clicking on this button, add new course. Of course, there are more ways to create courses. You can create from a video playlist or create course outline from AI. But the basic way is by clicking on this add new course button. This will open up the course builder of LearnDash. The first page it's going to take you is to the course page. Here you can add a course title and a course description over here. We can use Gutenberg page builder to design the course page itself. It's going to look something like this when you add more content. You can also add videos and other media files within this page. You can also choose categories from here, add tags, course categories, course tags, and view the associated lessons within this course. If we move on to the course builder, this is what it looks like without any content. What you simply do is add a new lesson first, 
or a new section heading. So let's go ahead and add a section heading first. And within that heading, we are going to add a few lessons. There you go. Then we can add in more lessons. And that is how you can build courses in LearnDash. Now you can also drag and drop these as well. Okay, now it's also possible to expand the lessons and add new topics within those lessons. So let's go ahead and add a topic. All right, so your lessons can also have topics. Now, what about the course content? To add course content, you can either add it within the lesson or within the topic. It's completely up to you. Creating this course heading is optional, but if you want to better organize or structure your course, I believe adding the course heading might be useful in that case. And also adding these topics are also optional because you can add all your course content within the lessons. But if you want a complex structure for your lesson, you can add these topics within your lessons. So let's go ahead and actually see how this looks like in another view. All right, we have switched over to the other course and you can see there's no course heading over here. Also, the lessons have no topic. Now to add content within your lessons, what you simply do is first save your content so your progress doesn't get lost. And then we simply click on edit and it's going to open up the lesson builder. But this will take us to another page instead of opening up the builder within this page. And here you can add in your course content. And this also uses the Gutenberg style so you can add in your video or media file right over here. In the settings tab, you can also add video progression and add video URL over here as well. LearnDash gives you a lot of these options for your lessons. For example, you can include lesson materials, video progression, assignment uploads, forced lesson timer. You can also associate this lesson with the course, make this a sample lesson, lesson release schedule, so you can control the content rip system from here, external lesson, and other options such as short description, duration, enable video preview, custom button text, and custom ribbon text. So that is how you add content within the lessons. Now, if you want, you can also create a topic. Let's say this is our topic. If you want to add content within it, first you have to save your content and then click on edit. And this is going to open up the topic editor. Now this is similar to the lesson editor, but instead of the lessons, you will be creating topics. You simply add your content over here using Gutenberg blocks. Then you go to the settings tab and you're going to see the same settings over here as well. Instead of lessons, it's now topic materials, video progression, assignment uploads, topic timer, etc. And finally, when you're done, you can go to the settings section and here you will get a lot of your course settings, such as setting up enrollment mood. You can find the display and content options. You can enable the course materials, include the course materials over here, add challenge exams, course content, custom pagination, course completion page, etc. So that is the course creation workflow and structure of LearnDash. Now let's talk about the quiz building experience and let's start with Tutor LMS. Now in Tutor LMS, you can open up the quiz builder from right within your course builder itself. What you simply do is click on quiz, add in your quiz title, quiz summary, and the quiz will be created. Then you can add several questions within those quiz. So let's take a look at a quiz that we already have created. So this is a quiz that we already have created and it has eight questions within it. If we open up this, you can see that these are the questions. Tutor LMS gives you eight question categories to work with. You have the true, false, you have multiple choice, open-ended, essay, fill in the blanks, short answer, matching, image matching, and ordering. We have created one question of each of the types. The questions will look like this when you add those. You add a question over here and add a description to that question if you want. This is optional. Then you choose the correct answer. Now, depending on what type of question you have chosen, the interface will be different. This is how the true or false question looks like. Now, if we take a look at the MCQ or multiple choice questions, this is how it will look like. You'll have one question. You can add as many options as you want. And from that, you have to choose one or more correct answers. There are several question types and each will have their own interface. Now, you can also add an answer explanation. And on the right hand side, you can also add conditions such as if the answer is required, if there are points, and if those points will be displayed. On the next tab, you can access basic and advanced question settings such as time limit. You can include time limit for your questions. You can hide or show quiz time. In the feedback mood, you can choose different moods such as default, reveal mood, retry mood. You can specify the number of attempts the students will be able to make. You can add a passing grade. You can also choose the maximum questions students are allowed to answer. You can choose a prerequisite and also customize the advanced settings such as quiz auto start, single question, layout, question ordering, etc. Now these are the questions of Tutor LMS. In LearnDash, the quiz building experience is quite different. So if we head over to the builder 
and expand a lesson. To add a quiz, we have to click on this new quiz button and then we have to add a quiz title. Once it's created, we can click on edit. But before editing, like always, we have to save our changes. And once it's saved, we can click on edit to open up the quiz builder. Now, this is going to take us to another screen. So this isn't opening up within the course builder. This is where you can add in your quiz content. So you can add descriptions, media files. And after you're done, you can head over to the builder. And this is where you add your questions. So to add a question, we can click on this new question button. We can add a question title. And this is the question. Now, if we expand this, this is how you build your question. First, you have to select your question category or type. Learn Dash gives you single choice, multiple choice, free choice, sorting choice, matrix sorting choice, fill in the blanks, assessment, essay, open answer, quiz types. You first choose the type of question you want to create and then it's going to give you the interface that you need. Then you build your question from here. You add questions and you add answers. We've created a simple question so that you can understand how this will look like. So we added a question. What comes after two? We added three options. We can also drag these around. And finally, we have to choose a correct answer since this is a single choice question. Once you're done, you can simply click on save. You can also customize how much point this will award the students. And if we go to the settings, you can see there are a lot of these settings over here. Learn Dash actually gives you a lot of quiz settings to tweak and play around with, making your quiz building a lot more functional and complex. Now, if we get back to our course, we can see that our quiz is over here. And that is how you can create quizzes in Learn Dash. If you have already created quizzes, you can simply drag it and drop it over here. And the quiz has been added. All right. So that is one way to add quizzes to your lessons. There's another way to add quizzes or open up the quiz builder. And that's from this section. If we go to Learn Dash LMS and click on quizzes, click on add new quiz button is going to open up the quiz builder and you can build your quizzes from there. So that is how you can create quizzes for your Learn Dash courses. Now let's talk about customization options. What kind of details can you add to your course directly from the builder? Starting with Tutor LMS, the course builder, especially in the front end, lets you customize a wide range of elements. You can set the course difficulty level, add a featured image and an intro video for your course. You can also set the course duration, maximum students and benefits. Include course requirements, target audience, and also downloadable attachments. All these fields are visually editable and clearly labeled, which makes the process super intuitive even for beginners. On top of that, Tier LMS supports custom course tags, paid course options, and integrations like WooCommerce right from the builder. And if you're using Elementor, you can even get more flexibility in how your course page looks like. On the Learn Dash side, the customization runs deep. You get detailed course access settings, prerequisite control, course progress behavior, expiration dates, certificates, and more. These settings are often spread out across multiple tabs, course builder settings and add-ons. Now, looking at all these features, what can we summarize? Should you choose Tutor LMS or Learn Dash? If we talk about Tutor LMS, it's great for beginners because of its modern and centralized design. It also has a free version that you can start with. Again, if you require advanced features such as content drip, live online classes, and more integrations, you can switch to any paid plans. On the other hand, Learn Dash is more suited for advanced users because of its detailed, complex structure. It doesn't have a free version, but it gives you access to a demo site which you can use to experience Learn Dash. In fact, we're using the demo site for this video. Learn Dash has been around for a very long time and is one of the most popular LMS plugins for WordPress. It gives you almost all the features you need for your e-learning website. If you want to learn how to create a course, quizzes, assignments, or even an online course selling websites with Tutor LMS and Learn Dash, check out our tutorials on these topics. You can find these tutorials in the video description. Now let's take a look at the pricing of both plugins. We'll start with Tutor LMS. Tutor LMS has annual and lifetime plans. The annual plans start with the individual package, which is available for $199 a year. This gives you one site license, along with all the pro add-ons, features, unlimited courses and users, pro themes, AI studio, priority support and updates for one year. The business package is available for $399 a year and this gives you up to 10 site licenses. Finally, the agency package is available for $799 a year and this gives you unlimited site licenses. 
If you want, you can also get the lifetime plans. These are a bit expensive as it's just one-time payment. Now, as for the features and side licenses, all are identical except for the agency plan. The agency plan now gives only 50 side licenses instead of the unlimited side licenses in the annual package. If you want to get Tiro Elements Pro, you can check our video description for a link. On the other hand, LearnDash also has some really good plans. It starts with the one site license, which is available for $199 a year. The 10 site licenses is available for $399 a year. And the unlimited site license is available for $799 a year. As you can see, the annual plans of TutorLMS matches the plans of LearnDash, which has the same pricing. LearnDash gives you all the features that you need for your LMS website with any of these plans. Again, if you require any add-ons, you can purchase from here, such as group management, instructor role, gradebook, notes, ratings, reviews and feedbacks, Pro Panel 3.0. All these add-ons can be purchased separately or you can purchase the bundle. So if you want to get the add-ons and learn Dash, getting the bundles will save you a lot of money. For example, the Ultimate Course Creator Bundle is available for $499 a year. This gives you the base Learn Dash LMS plugin, along with the Pro Panel 3.0, Instructor Role, Groups Management, Groups Management, Ratings, Reviews and Feedback, Notes and Gradebook. There are other bundles such as the Student Access, which is available for $249 a year. This gives you the base LearnDash LMS plugins along with notes and gradebooks. So you can check out any of these bundles. If you like, you can purchase it. LearnDash also has a cloud plan. So if you want a fully hosted LearnDash website, you can get the LearnDash cloud. This gives you hosting, domains, daily backups, AI writing tools, starter templates, email and chat support. This takes care of most of the technical stuff so you can focus on course creation and selling. If you are interested in purchasing LearnDash, you can check our video description for a link. So that brings our video to an end. We hope that it was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos such as this one. So thank you for watching. See you next time.